So overall, my uh, robotics and uh, RoboCup experience is that I participated in uh, RoboCup Asia Pacific 2019 competition in Moscow, uh, and I got first place in RoboCup Rescue Simulation in uh, Artificial Intelligence Series 2020 in uh, UAE, and it has been almost a year uh, for me to experience uh, RoboCup. Summary of preliminary challenge. What is your challenge task? Give a brief summary on the category of course based challenge you participated in. So we are in course based U19 and the problems which we have investigated is that there was a delay on uh, the robot when it deposits the points. Uh, so at the end we tried uh, again and again. Uh, we used RROGGBB method from the programming uh, interface and it uh, solved the problem. And uh, in conclusion, uh, so we have used uh, some tactics which ensure that the robot will collect points uh, more uh, precisely. Challenge task analysis, please introduce the following, the challenge mission. Uh, the challenge was to show how much points uh, what to score and the team with the highest uh, score wins. Uh, can the challenge task uh, be broken into uh, many tasks? If yes, what are those many tasks? We use uh, many tasks and the higher the ta tasks, the higher the priority. By making statements for every object to make it more detailed and more precise. Uh, will the overall mission be solved if the above many tasks completed? Uh, I would say it would work perfectly if the mini tasks were done correctly. AI algorithms and resources, identifying, prioritizing, and assigning the necessary algorithms, tools, and resources to complete the challenge task. Please introduce the following AI algorithms. Uh, so we have used the decision tree to make a plan for the robot as when it uh, as when it uh, collects the points, it uh, directly uh, goes to deposit the points, uh, tools, and uh, resources. The robot is a supervised learner, so it will go wherever it has been taught to go. The advantages of using above tools and resources, you may use a logic disk or mind map for illustration. Uh, these methods have helped us to make the robot's uh, decisions a bit better and more uh, accurate implementation please share details of how the algorithms and tools being used to solve the challenge mission so we have tried the, the, using the uh, decision tree so when it gets the points uh, directly uh, goes to deposit and it has helped us on other objects uh, as uh, it's it analyzes us the consequences of the decision. Debugging. Is the uh, robot performing as what you have planned and coded? At first, no, it did not. Uh, but uh, this is because uh, of the depositing problem we had. Uh, so how did we fix the issue? We tried uh, more and more again uh, until we found out the solution. Uh, by creating a variable for the depositing points. In conclusion, uh, comment on your result. I would say we built a good code and I hope we win. Uh, if you have used different methods to, to uh, solve the task, please include the results comparison chart. Um, I would say there was not much of a difference. It was uh, because there was a delay on uh, it took time for uh, the robot to uh, deposit it's not much of a uh, big of a deal uh, it's all, uh, and the results are almost the same just slightly better uh, so if you are asked to solve the same challenge again how would you improve uh, your strategy I would say uh, focusing more on uh, uh, other uh, 
uh, objects like avoiding walls and traps because we have been uh, focused more uh, at the depositing learning experience share your course based learning experience highlight the following what have you learned using course based robot so i have learned uh, c programming language and i learned uh, more about uh, the decision tree uh, i had an idea about the decision tree but uh, now i know more which is uh, good for me what have you gained through the virtual recap course based challenge I have gained uh, experience and uh, teamwork with my teammate. We had a lot of fun. We uh, shared a lot of uh, uh, help and uh, it was uh, very uh, nice to work with my uh, teammate. What would you like to share with other course based participants? I would like to share on our ideas and by exchanging ideas to other cross based participants thank you all for listening i hope you enjoyed